Are you ready to make some serious money in Fay Farm? Well, grab that comfy cozy drink because I'm going to tell you how. Hey guys, welcome to Jade Mist Gaming. Jade Mist here, and today I am going to show you just how easy it is to get so rich in Fay Farm that you won't even know what to do with these florins. So we're going to be going into the saltwater mines. So far, after having over 50 plus hours in this game, this has been the most lucrative way to make money by going into the mines. So spoiler alert, yes, you are going to need to unlock your saltwater mines and you're going to need to have to go all the way down to level 25. You don't have to finish the entire quest line to f get level 25 done, but you do have to have all the levels unlocked and you do need to put your seals down so that you can fast travel between each level at a blink of an eye. So let's go over everything that you will need for this. Number one, of course, like I just said, you're going to need to unlock your mines. There are 25 levels. Out of those 25 levels, 24 of them have a ton of resources for you to gather. Each floor has a specific seal that you will need to craft and put onto it so that you can just travel to it instantly without having to run directly through the dungeon, wasting time. You can open up your apps and check out the dungeon tracker to see all of the seals that you need. You're going to need a ton of copper and a ton of iron. So start gathering all of those guys. So you're going to need iron. You're going to need copper. Get all those seals done. I'm going to have a full mining guide later on so that we can go over more details of all the mines. But for now, just go ahead and take a look at your dungeon tracker so you can see what seals you need. Now, once you have all of that taken care of, you're also going to need a gem polisher. You can craft your gem polisher as one of of your stations and put it down on your plot and once you have that this is where the money will start rolling in yes you're going to be turning in rough gems into polished gems and you're going to be selling them now you're probably thinking jade we already know this by now yeah you may know this by now but there's a trick there's a trick to help you get at least fifty-four thousand florin per hour now i'm going to round down just in case there's different elements and everybody has different you know experiences so we're going to say 50k you can make up to 50k per hour by doing this the way i am going to show you with this neat little trick and lastly you're going to need some food so that you can keep up your energy and specifically keep up your mining buff now some foods have different buffs depending on what you eat there's buffs for everything in this case the early on meal that you can go ahead and cook that has a mining buff is the fish and mushroom soup so make sure you go into your crafting station or your cooking station find that recipe fish and mushroom soup and you're gonna see it gives you a ton of energy plus it gives you a bonus of mining now if you don't have this it's not vitally essential it just really helps helps in gathering it gives you a plus two points on mining so it really does help you get some more gems more bang for your buck now i don't usually need healing potions i do get hit every once in a while in this dungeon but the mobs in this dungeon the saltwater mines are actually pretty tame so i don't ever usually need a healing potion but if you find that you do and you get hit by the mobs by all means make sure you have some healing potions now another couple of tips here to be able to raise your stamina bars make sure you have your home deck decorated or at least items put down in your home to raise your cozy level the higher your cozy level the bigger your stamina bar will be or your mana bar depending on what items you place again i will do another guide specifically for those cozy levels but the cozier your house is the higher your stamina bar so i do have my house at about a ranking of at least eight i think but you don't have to have that Again, as long as you have your food, use your fish and mushroom soup, you should be fine. I would say get at least five or more. If anything, if you have a lower stamina bar, probably get like 10 meals of fish and mushroom soup. So go ahead and grab all your fish, get your mushroom, get everything you need and craft up that food. All right, let's get into what you're really here for and let's go over the entire strategy on how you're gonna run these mines. Now, once you get to the mines, you're gonna go ahead and go to your first seal and you're gonna open up the entire tracker here and you're gonna go down to level 15 is where we wanna start. Now you're probably asking, Jade, why not just run the entire mines from level one and on? Not all the levels have all of these gems that you need. Earlier levels do have certain gems, but the gems that we want 
want are the rough aquamarine and the topaz. We're gonna get a few of the peridot, but it's not essential. The aquamarine and the topaz are the top two selling ones in these mines. The other ones definitely sell for a good chunk of money, but when it comes to more bang for your buck as far as time goes, you wanna look for aquamarine and peridot. I have done a trial run of running the entire mines versus running only for topaz, and then this third one for running for aquamarine and topaz, and this one has by far been the most lucrative one. So right here, you're gonna go to level 15, and you're just gonna run through the entire mine, grab all the aquamarine, grab all the peridot, anything that you see here, forget all the other resources. We're not here for copper, we're not here for iron, we're not here for silt. Don't worry about the mobs. Sometimes these mobs don't even bother you, depending on the mob. Sometimes they are a little too far away. You can dodge them super fast. So the less time you spend on the mobs, the more time you have to get the gems. So again, ignore all the other resources and just go for the gems. Don't forget to eat your food before starting your mining so that you do have that buff already running. When you see the buff run down, you'll go ahead and have some more food. So you're gonna continue doing this from level 15, going all the way down to level 24. By the time you get to level 24, you're gonna have a bunch of rough topaz, rough aquamarine, and some peridot. Now for me, it took 18 minutes to do an entire run from level 15 to 24. Now here's where the magic starts. Once you hit level 24 and you get all the gems and you're done, you're probably thinking, well, that's it. Nothing's gonna spawn, so now what? You're wrong. You wanna go ahead and get out of your game, go into save, quit to menu, don't quit to desktop, you wanna quit to menu and then go back into your game, press continue. You're just basically, re not restarting the day, but you're just refreshing the day. Kind of like we have a Scrooge refresh over in Dreamlight Valley, we have a dungeon refresh. So we're refreshing our dungeons. Again, you're gonna save the game just in case. Normally there's an auto save, but I like to press save just in case. Exit to title. And then once you're back in the title, just press continue. After you press continue, it's gonna take you right back to the beginning of the mines, to the entrance. Go back into the entrance and repeat this entire process all over again. Your buffs will not carry over after this refresh, so you will, if you had any of the buff left over when you exit it, that buff is gonna be gone. So go ahead and eat another one of your fish and mushroom soup, get your buff going, go to level 15 once again, and run through the entire process all over again. Your in-game day time will be the same exact time it was when you left. So by starting at 6 a.m., you gotta start this dungeon at the start of the day. As soon as your day starts, run over to the saltwater mines. If you have your waypoint set up, use your waypoint and go straight over to the saltwater mines. You start the day at 6 a.m. If you started at 7, that's fine, but just start early in the day. You can get at least three runs of this done if you're doing an 18 to 20 minute round. Let's round it up to 20 minutes. It took me 18 minutes. Let's just go rounding it to 20. So three rounds of 20 minutes each, that gives you 60 minutes. That's an hour of you running the mines by reading refreshing the dungeons. Here is my loot at the end of the three rounds. I have 364 rough aquamarine, 272 rough topaz, and I ended up getting a little bit of rough peridot 32. Not bad, not too shabby. Once you get all of these rough gems, you're gonna head on over to your gem polisher and you're gonna turn all of these gems into polished gems, which let me go ahead and show you the screenshot of what this looks like after you run everything through the polisher. And there you go. I got three polished peridot, th four sets of nine of the polished aquamarine, and three sets of nine for the polished topaz. It takes 10 of your rough gems to create one polished stone. And then when when you go to sell all this, you may not have space in your markets, so you might have to take two in-game days to put this, but that's okay because trust me, you're going to be so rich after this that it's okay. Now, if you're not one that wants to waste the day, go ahead and do things throughout your day, go farm, go do whatever it is you need to do. But if you're okay with sleeping the day and just starting a new day, go for it. That way you can sell the rest in your market or just run the dungeons again. Run the dungeons again until you have so much more. It's up to you how you optimize your time. But the guts of this is how much you can actually gather in that one 
in game day, which again translates to about 18,000 florin per in game day. Running that three times, it gave me 54,000. But again, I'm going to round down just in case everybody is different. Let's take away 4,000 florin and just get a nice equal 50K. You can make 50K per hour. You're going to thank me when you're done with this. <laughs> Trust me. I already have so much florin and I've been able to do so many things. Not that we really truly need a lot, but as the game progresses, it's really nice to have the florin already there and not have to worry about what it is you need to sell and then you can focus on doing other things like flower breeding for those nice beautiful custom wings that you can get later on you're gonna need to breed flowers which again is gonna be another video coming soon and that's it guys that is my guide on how to make at least 50,000 florin per hour using your saltwater mines it's that simple let me know in the comments below how much did you make per run did you utilize the entire day did you do three runs did you do one run how much money are you making using this refresh little exploit all right guys as always don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell and until the next time happy gaming bye